OCO, we come now at this time for a little bit of story time. You know, the stories are part of our cultural identity. They teach us things. And uh, one of my favorite stories, there are many, but one of my favorite stories is the story of the first tobacco. Now, a lot, many of these stories were collected years ago uh, by Lloyd Arnie, uh, Arnich out of the uh, Eastern Band out there in, in North Carolina area and a book called Long Ago Stories of the Eastern Cherokee. There are many, many other stories, but this, this particular one comes from that story. So, the first tobacco. Long ago, before the people forgot how to talk to the animals, an old woman uh, became ill. And so they sent for the medicine man, and he came and he said, a tobacco leaf would cure this. And at that time, there was only one tobacco plant that had been given by Silo, I guess, corn mother. And uh, so the medicine man called a warrior in and said, hey, go out to the tobacco plant and get me a leaf and I'll be able to heal this wound. The warrior, he's okay. He took off because he knew where the tobacco plant was and he went out there and when he got there, he found a hole in the ground. And the tobacco plant was gone. And he looked around and he saw that there were geese tracks all over the place. And so he went back and he reported to the medicine man that it looked like the geese had come and stolen, dug up and stolen this tobacco plant. Well, back then, the geese were pretty violent and aggressive beings. And folks were afraid of them because of their nature. And so, uh, medicine man, he called the people together and he called the animals together and he said, it looks like the geese have stolen our tobacco plant, and so now I need to leave so I can heal this old woman. And uh, the old women back then were really valued. They were they keep the knowledge, they keep the wisdom, and they knew how to run everything. And so uh, the animals and the people realized how important it was to keep her alive. And uh, so the deer said, well, I'll follow the tracks, I'll find them, and I'll get a tobacco leaf. So the deer took off to the forest following the tracks, and really fast, you know, deer is really fast. And deer found where the tobacco plant was, and it was surrounded by a ring of geese protecting it. So the deer ran back to the medicine man and said, hey, I found it. I know where they're at. So I'm going to go and get a leaf and bring it back. The deer went back to the, where the tobacco plant was, surrounded by the geese, and they were making a lot of noise, so it was kind of easy to find when the deer got close. And deer took off at full speed to get through to that tobacco plant. But the geese surrounding the tobacco plant started crying and squawking and hollering and out of the woods and out of the fields all around came a lot of other geese. They attacked the deer and they killed it. The medicine man knew when the deer had died. And so the medicine man called the animals together again and said, the deer will not be coming back. And all the animals knew what that meant. So the medicine man said, I need another volunteer 
to go and get this tobacco leaf. And the mole said, well, I'll do it. I can crawl on the ground. They'll never see me coming. So the mole started crawling under the ground. And he'd pop up his head every now and then to make sure he was going in the right direction. And then he'd go back underground and take off again. And while he's digging underground, he popped up his head and he heard the geese making a lot of racket. So he crawled through the grass and the bushes until he found the circle and he saw where they were at. So then he dug down into the ground and he started going underneath. Now, unfortunately, despite all the racket the geese make, they still have really good hearing. And they heard mole coming. They could hear mole digging under the ground, making all that noise. And so the geese dug him up, pulled him out of the hole, and they killed him too. And the medicine man knew when mole had died. So he called all the animals together again, and he said, well, mole's not going to be coming back. The medicine man said, I need another volunteer to go. Well, this time, Bear said, I'll go. This black bear is fierce and strong and powerful. The black bear, Bear took off down towards the geese, following the tracks and the trails. And he got close and he heard the deer, or heard the geese squawking. And Bear took off into that circle for the tobacco plant and plowed right through, but the geese set up a squawk again and a whole bunch more of them came flying in and they all ganged up on Bear and they killed Bear. So the medicine man brought all the animals together again and said, Bear will not be coming back. And medicine man sad about these things. And all the animals were sad, but medicine man had to call again and said, I need another volunteer to go and get this tobacco leaf before the old woman dies. And it was real quiet. After a while, finally, hummingbird said, I'll go. And all the animals started laughing and the squawking said, you, what are you going to do? You're just a little bitty thing. You couldn't possibly get any get out of there. And Hummingbird said, you're right, I am small. But I'm going to go anyway. Unless one of you wants to go. And it all got real still and quiet again. The hummingbird took off and he headed down following the trail. And when he got near to where the geese were making their racket, he lighted on a branch and looked down where the tobacco plant was. And surrounded by that was a great circle of geese. And so hummingbird saw that they hadn't seen him yet. The hummingbird flew over the geese's head, right down on the tobacco plant, and looked around, and nobody had seen it. So, hummingbird knocked out some seeds and took a leaf in his beak, flew up and over the heads of the geese, and lighted on the tree branch again. But no one had seen hummingbird. So Hummingbird saw that nobody was coming to get him, had it on back. Hummingbird came back carrying those seeds and that leaf and put them in the hands of the medicine man. The medicine man held the seeds in his hand and called the animals together and said, each of you take one seed and spread all out throughout the land, plant these seeds so that we will never run out of tobacco again. 
and the animals each took one seed and went in different directions and planted the seed so that tobacco would always be available. And then the medicine man lit the leaf and brushed the smoke across the face of the old woman and she was healed. And the moral of this lesson is, is that no matter how small, how insignificant someone may appear to be, everyone has an opportunity and can contribute to the well-being of all the people. And so it is important to remember that we value every person. I hope.